Hey there, I want to show you how to create a carbon copy of your own blog in about five seconds. In fact, it might not even take you that long. The way that, reason that you would want to do this is so, so you can actually tweak your theme and mess with plugins and do pretty much anything you want without it being public on the main site and potentially looking kind of stupid because you just screwed something up royally on your main site. It's something that we've all dealt with many times. Now, there are old school ways of doing this. There is the theme preview plugin option, which will allow you to preview your theme as long as you're logged into your own site as an admin, which you should be. Um, and you can preview it using a different theme than everybody else. Now, it works. It does work. That being said, it's still a little technical for some people, and it's also limited to the theme in that if you if your new design or anything that you're working on requires plugins, then those plugins are going to affect the live site as well as the private version because technically you're using the same WordPress blog at that point, and plugins are kind of global. That's just kind of the way they work. Now, another option, but this one is vastly more complicated, is to create a full copy of of your blog on a subdomain or something like that. Now, this is the way that I used to do it all the time. The thing is, the first time that you do this, and quite frankly, any time that you want to refresh that carbon copy, you have to do this whole procedure again. And it's kind of a long-winded procedure, actually. And in fact, if you look at my screen here, if you're, if you're watching this video embedded in the blog post, you'll see what I'm looking at here, which is this tutorial on how to do it. And I didn't even go super deep into that tutorial because it does involve exporting out of MySQL using PHP, PHP my admin, importing into a fresh new database, editing your config file, FTPing in order to download all of your WordPress files and re-upload them back to your car, to your new subdomain folder, uh, editing the database. You got to edit a couple of rows in your options table. It ain't a lot of fun. And quite frankly, the larger your blog gets, the longer it takes. Um, I can tell you from experience, uh, when I've done this, even with the Blog Marketing Academy, or especially my tech site, um, that uh, it, it's, it's just a long-winded thing because to take a really large database and export it and import it takes time. Sometimes when you're uploading those things into PHP, PHP My Admin, it just barfs because the SQL file is just too big. Um, in which case, you have to kind of you have to do some you have to log in via SSH or Telnet, do a command line thing. It ain't a lot of fun. Fun, and I'm not even going to get into it right now in this video. But if your blog is fairly small and your SQL file is not too large, you shouldn't have a major problem simply using PHP, PHP My Admin to import that thing. And then you got to do all the rest yourself. So I'm not going to show you how to do that on video because it takes too damn long. And this would be a really long video. But what I am going to show you is how I do it today. Now, I've been doing this a really long time. I've been in the business for 16 years now. I have managed sites in all ways from completely and totally manually before the days of WordPress all the way up to where things are just so bone dead easy. And now one of the things, one of the tools in my arsenal that helps me do this is the fact that I have realized and now utilize the power of WordPress specific hosting. Now, the thing about WordPress specific hosting over regular hosting where you have cPanel and all that stuff is that they can specialize in WordPress itself. That's one of the beauties of WordPress is the fact that even though the themes and the plugins can vary from site to site, the underlying core is pretty much the same, which means that there's things like caching and, uh, and just geekery stuff on the web server level that they can do to make your site perform and and be managed really well that they can do if they specialize in WordPress that the more generic hosts like Bluehost and HostGator and those guys just can't do. Uh, or if they do, that's got to be a, a completely different setup. Uh, so WordPress specific hosting works really well. Now the company that I am using for this is called WP Engine and the Blog Marketing Academy itself was now hosted on WP Engine and I've been with them now for several months and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And one of them is because of this five second method to cloning my blog. Now, the way it works is very simple. Whenever I want to do any design tweaks to my blog, 
I just create a carbon copy of the Academy. If I want to test a new plugin that I think might affect something on the live site, I create a carbon copy. I don't have to go through this long winded procedure anymore because I have a button to click. Now let's, let me show you how that works. If we go over here, I'm actually inside the Blog Marketing Academy right now, and you'll see that I have a plugin up here called WP Engine. Now, whenever you install WordPress uh, using WP Engine, which, by the way, is itself just a one-click install. You don't have to do anything. You literally just press a button, and it installs WordPress for you. Well, one of the things that it does is it sets up this WP Engine plugin automatically, and it allows you to tap into some of the things with regard to your hosting right inside of your own WordPress. Now, the one of them here, as you can see, is staging. And that's what you're setting up. It's essentially a staging area. So you just click on staging. And here it is. What is a staging area? This takes a snapshot of your blog and copies it to a staging area where you can test out changes without affecting your live site. And you've got two buttons here. You can copy your site from live to staging or you can copy your site from staging to live. Now, both of these in, in the manual way is a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie to you. The manual way of copying from live to staging is a pain. It, it's all that manual stuff I just said. Now, if you and when you want to go in reverse, when you want to go live with some of your changes, you've got to manually go back and, and make the same tweaks to the live version that you just did in the private version, or you need to keep track of what files you uh, you edited, and then you need to use your FTP and move them over. And it's again, it's just a manual process, and it's not very much fun. In this case, I click a button. And in fact, I'll just go in and click live to staging. And if you have anything in your staging area already, this will override it. So you just need to make sure that you're done doing whatever you're doing. I'm not doing anything specific in there, so I'll just show you. Click a button. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You just wait. Now, how long did that take? It took me a little longer because I'm sitting here talking you through it, but it's literally a button. Done. It's a beautiful thing. Pretty much any time you want to change anything on your site uh, and you don't want the world to see it, you can have your own carbon copy of your blog. It gives you a little URL you can go to and you can make all the changes you want. You log into your, to your own separate WordPress. You can totally screw it up and nobody will ever see it. And then if you do screw it up, you're like, well, let me start over. You just hit that button again. It copies everything from your live site back to staging. You're back to ground zero and you can do whatever you, it is you want to do again. So that's one of the powers of it. That's the five second method of actually creating a private testing version of your blog using WP Engine. One of the built-in features of the account. I really, really dig it.